Welcome to this year's Overwatch Halloween event. Celebrating a year since the last Halloween experience, this update brings in a number of new skins to help pay for Jeff Kaplan's manscaping budget. Anna got jealous of Bastion's bird and happened to get lucky on a Battlefield 1 skin drop. Reaper looks slightly darker than he did last year. At this rate, Blizzard will have him covered in Vanta Black within the next 3 years. McCree's skin looks like an outfit for Red Dead Nightmare. His revolver looks like it will cost $16 in Red Dead Redemption 2. Symmetra gets a second legendary skin added to the game since launch. The gun looks fucking creepy, and it looks like there's a dragon dick on the back of her head. It's easily one of the best skins added. Mei's skin is based on a Chinese vampire. I personally think Satan would be more appropriate. Torbjorn is the best for honor character they've added to date. They even gave him Thor's hammer, which unfortunately doesn't even shoot lightning. Literally unplayable. Zari ER gets her best skin yet. It will 100% remind you of songs that would demonetize the shit out of this video. Zenyatta looks like a character from a 90 year old Lovecraft piece, or from 7 billion modern day Japanese productions. Winston's skin isn't too bad, if you think it's worth 50 fucking dollars. We also get an assortment of Halloween skins you didn't grind hard enough to get last year. These include, Pumpkin Patch Reaper, Procro Bastion, Meddling Kids Anna, Fleshy Fat Fuck, still more normal than Michael Jackson, the average Australian on meth, Flying Purple People Fucker, 3 Spooky 5 Me, the one everyone fucking got last year, and Black Hanzo. The player vs AI mode also returns, so players are able to spend countless hours grinding for sprays that will be irrelevant in 2 months. The regular mode features the exact same list of characters from last year. If you're not willing to instantly lock in the hero you want, feel free to play Anna 100% of the time. Also prepare for that one fuck to never skip the intro for the hundredth fucking time. When playing as Anna, just feel free to shoot every enemy once. Assists count as eliminations, so you'll usually be able to make a filthy DPS main feel bad about their end performance. Remember that a single guard and an aid is able to solo kill Junkrat tires. Also remember to sleep the high ground spammer and nade the low ground hooker to give your teammates half a chance at killing those pieces of shit. Alternatively, you could always play the endless mode where no one gives a shit about playing a healer either. Use this as a place to practice your Genji combos without being yelled at. But just prepare for this absolute clusterfuck of a game mode. In other news, Roadhog is filming a rap album. Torbjorn spanks a piece of hot metal, Reinhardt acts out his new favorite band, and May is able to jump slightly.